Hi guys, welcome back to Cards TV. This is Mary, and I've been back to Dollar Tree, so you know what that means. Now, we haven't done any Dollar Tree sticker cards in a while, but we are today. And look at these gorgeous stickers I found. They are so beautiful. And I love all the colors. And then the black background is something I haven't used before. So that might be a challenge. We'll find out. So I'm going to go through my papers and match these up. Grab some card sketches and some card bases. And we're going to put together some Dollar Tree sticker cards. For card number one, we're going to use Cards TV sketch number 47. Now, you can get all 54 sketches over at my blog, cardstv.blogspot.com. They are all free to download. You can download all of them or just whichever ones you want and keep them for future reference. But we will be using this one today, and it's got all the measurements on here for us. We're also going to be using these two Spellbinders dies, and they're approximately the shape that I have listed on the card sketch. We've got a plain oval and then we've got this beautiful scalloped oval. And this is gonna go really pretty on the front of our card. Now, if we look at our card sketch, we see that our card is four and a quarter by five and a half. When folded, that makes an A2 size card. And our first mat is four inches by five and a quarter and I cut that four by five and a quarter inch piece. And then just like in the sketch, I've cut it on the diagonal. But I like to back my pattern papers with a solid. And this is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. So we're gonna put this down first. And we're gonna be using this Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. That is my current favorite glue. It does a great job. And then we're gonna put our diagonal cut pieces on here, just like in the sketch. I think that's really striking with that pink polka dot and then that black on that white card. So I'll grab my glue and get all this attached to the front of my card base. Now, to go on our card base, we're going to do the oval shape, just like in the sketch. And I found this black and white gingham check. I love any color of gingham, but I especially love black and white. And I found this little paper pad on Amazon. I haven't bought any paper in probably a year because I have so much. But I saw this and it's nothing but eight and a half by eight and a half of black and white gingham plaid. And there's 32 sheets in here. Double sided. It's black and white gingham on both sides. I couldn't resist. I had to get it. <laughs> And this also comes in lots of other colors, too. And I'll leave you a link in the description box below this video. But I went ahead and I used those uh, Spellbinders dies that I showed you. And I cut my oval out of the black and white gingham. And then I cut the shadow, which has this beautiful scallop border, out of the other. I'm going to get these attached with my glue and get this on the front of my card. That is looking so pretty. All we've got is black and white and this beautiful pink and it really makes a striking card. See, it's the same on both sides. You can't go wrong that way, can you? Now to go on the oval, I picked this beautiful little um, watering can with these pretty pink and white flowers in it and the pinks match the pink of this card so well. I used my powder tool and took the stickiness off the back and I've got some foam tape on there. We're going to add that right there. So that came from this sticker sheet and the sentiment came from this other one 
and it also has these beautiful pink flowers and it says good times I did the same with it I took the stickiness off with my powder tool and I've got some foam tape on that and that's gonna go right down there and I was going through my stash and I found this little tiny black bow that came from one of my Cricut cartridges. I'm not sure which one. If I can find out which one it was, I'll let you know. But I thought that would be so pretty right here, tucked up under these flowers on that watering can. Isn't that pretty, guys? Now I had a little piece of that pink left. So let's go ahead and just add it down here close to the bottom and then I can put any sentiment I want to on the inside. I'll just add this little strip of pink. Make sure I get it straight. There we go. There is card number one using this new set of Dollar Tree stickers. I think that turned out really pretty. Okay, guys, let's move on to card number two. For card number two, we're going to use Cards TV Sketch number 12, and this is a landscape-style card. And our card is four and a quarter by five and a half, and we have this beautiful little light yellow flowers on a white background with these pretty green leaves. I just love that. This is four by five and a quarter. And to help this stand out from the white, I've cut a piece of black cardstock and this is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. I'm gonna get this adhered together and get this on the front of my card. Now, if we look at the sketch, we see we have two squares that are turned on the point, and they are an inch and a half each, and the center square is two inches. So I cut out my two inch and a half squares out of this pretty yellow, and it's got a little stripe in it. I don't know if you can see that or not, but you can see these are gonna go right here on the front. Now for my center square, my two inch square, I decided to use another piece of that black and white gingham check. And as I said, this is two inches and I wanted to back it with a piece of black. So it is a two and an eighth inch square. I'm gonna get this adhered together and then this is gonna go right here on the front, just like that. Going back to the sketch, we see we have a border piece down here, which is half an inch by five and a quarter. I've cut another piece of that black and white gingham check. I'm going to get that added right there. And then I went to, let me find it for you. Yeah, I went back to this Dollar Tree sticker sheet. This sticker came from right down here. It's so pretty. It's got these beautiful uh, yellow flowers, a white flower, and some green leaves. And the sentiment on this little banner is faithful. I took the stickiness off of here and put some foam tape on. And I'm going to put that right there in the center of that diagonal square. So I'll go ahead and get all this add it to the front of my card. There we have it, guys. Another beautiful, quick and easy card made using a Cards TV card sketch and some stickers from Dollar Tree. I think that's so pretty. It's really striking with that black and white gingham. Okay, let's make card number three. For card number three, we're using Cards TV Sketch number 18. 
This is also a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. We've got another black and white gingham mat. I'm just loving this. <laughs> and it's going on. Oh, this is four by five and a quarter, and it's going on a piece of black cardstock, which is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. We'll get these attached together and on the front of the card base. Now, if we look at the sketch, we see we have a mat, which is two and a half by four and three quarters. And I picked this pretty floral with pretty pink flowers on it. And to back that, I've cut a piece of black cardstock, and it is two and three eighths by four and seven eighths. So I'll get this attached together and get this right here, just like the sketch. Next, we have this pretty light pink, which matches the flowers, and it's an inch and three quarters by four. And it's going to go right across here, just like that. You can see this is the back side of that floral. Now, if we look right up here on the sketch, we see we have a little piece that's half an inch by one and three quarters. And I took my little punch, it's called a scallop scallop punch, and I punched out this little piece of black and white polka dot. And then I backed it on a piece of black so that it's not quite an inch and three quarters. I'd say it's an inch and a half by half an inch. And I'm going to add that right up there just like in the sketch. I think that adds just a fun little touch right up there. And for our Dollar Tree sticker on this card, make sure this sticks down well. I've got another sentiment, and this one says thankful, and it has a beautiful pink flower that matches these. I took the stickiness off the back with my powder tool, and I've got some foam tape on it, and I'm going to add that right there. And this came from this set of Dollar Tree stickers. So I'll go ahead and get the backing off of here and get this put down on card number three. And that completes card number three. Didn't that turn out pretty? I think the black and white gingham really helps when you have the black background. I was kind of worried that I was going to be able to <laughs> figure these cards out with this black background. But I think that gingham really did the trick. So there's card number three. Let's take a look at all three cards. We've got two portrait style cards and a landscape style. And they all do have that black and white gingham. And as I said, I think that really helps to pull it all together. Let me get them down here where you can see them. So there we go, guys. I think they all turned out really pretty. If you have a favorite, tell me which one it is in the comments. I like all of them. I really like this one with that vibrant hot pink on there. And then this one is so soft and sweet with the pale pink. And this one, I just, I love the yellow flowers on here. Really like it with a touch of the black and white. So there we go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to go my, by my blog, cardstv.blogspot.com, and pick up any or all of the sketches. They're all free to download. And have some fun with them. We've got a weekend coming up, and it's a perfect time to make some cards. So, guys, remember, I love you all. God bless you all. And I will see you again soon with another card. Bye now.